You learn true and welcome to another exciting day in our galaxy. And today I want to talk about a general topic which is really important in this game and killing my nerves at the moment. But before I talk about warp range, I just want to say if you're not a subscriber of my channel yet but do like my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel. And when you do, also click this little bell and all notifications so you will be notified when another video comes out. But let's talk a little bit about warp range and uh, why it's killing my nerves. I will tell you during the video as well. But warp range is something that will be with you throughout the whole game. Because the warp range decides to what systems you can get with, with your ships. And when you just started playing the game, and I know that a lot of uh, people who just started are watching my videos as well, you will be somewhere in this area of the galaxy and will try to get out of those systems to the more interesting ones where you get resources and uh, materials and to do your missions and everything. And every ship has a certain warp range. I mean, when we look at the first ones, um, like the, the Rialta, which is the ship you have from the very beginning, um, your warp range will be quite limited there. My warp range in the beginning is 28 already. That has to do with something I'm going to tell you during the video. This will not be the warp range you see in this detail section um, when you start playing the game. And especially when you're doing it for the first time, you will have a very close look at that. And warp range will remain important to get to all those systems. You will need the warp range to get to the freebooter systems later. You will need the warp range to get to the Delta Quadrant, uh, to Cardassia, and uh, then to Zindi Space, to the Dominion, and to the Delta Quadrant. All of this will depend on your warp range. And when you see this, that there are extra sections of the um, Federation, for example, but they're also there for the Romulans and the Klingons. Those will really demand high warp range later on to get there. And uh, not to mention deep space, but there you can only go the whole section I, I showed you with the uh, factions. You can only go after you reach level 39, but then warp range will be even more an issue for you. The first two servers I played on, it was an even bigger issue than it is now because they introduced, while I was playing on this server, a number of ships that make this uh, much easier. The first one um, that already was there on my other servers was the Franklin A with a very good warp range. The Franklin A is um, was was a big help. And then they introduced the Titan A. And for the Titan A, for example, there is more research that can get you even further out than the um, Franklin A. And the Franklin A already was a big help. If you um, look at the researchers for the different ships, you will always uh, find something. And the, for the Titan, there's the horizon velocity with that you can um, extend your warp range for the Titan A. But um, I stopped at that point, as you can see, although I could research it, because then the Voyager came. And the Voyager has an even bigger warp range from the beginning and also quite a, a research here with the antimatter recycler. You see that I already got a bonus of 375 warp range. And then, a good month ago, they introduced something else, and that was the NX-01. And the NX-01, if you have a look at my ship next to the captain, under the name of the ship, so ship A, B, C, D, you can always see the warp range. And my NX-01 already has a warp range of 643. That's enough to get to every system um, in the galaxy that I can see at the moment. I haven't uh, sent it to all parts of the Delta Quadrant because I just unlocked it. 
um, but I could go everywhere there so far that uh, with the, with the NX01. And that has to do with two things. Oh, no, I wanted to stay on the base up, 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 because we have to go to research again. In general, at some point, you will be in the galaxy research and there you have enhanced warp cores. And with the enhanced warp cores, you get another bonus of uh, 25 for your warp range and uh, that is also something so there's in the starship uh, starship section in the galaxy research there's always something that can get you further with your warp range and the warp range really decides where you can go on this map and uh, i can show you uh, with some ships once the game is back on i mean we are about 90 minutes before maintenance so i really have to work early today to get some videos uh, done before maintenance for this week um about the the way i'm doing it i have to batch film videos a, a bit all the time for star trek fleet command because the rest of the week i also have to do videos for my main channel and and other things um, and other channels I I'm I had much longer than the STFC channels in English and German and uh, so I have to batch film and maintenance means the game is not running and that means that I'm uh, sitting in my studio um, very early in the morning already to do some videos but here we are again so let's have a look out for some systems again I just want to show you the Delta Quadrant thing um, because there are systems I haven't traveled to yet I can go um, up to here but you need a warp range of 900 for example for Eleusis and uh, that's something I can't even go with my um, with my Annex 01 for this I even need 700 with the Annex 01 I probably would be able to go there because there's also one crew that can extend your warp range but i made a video on that one already so i will not go into every detail about that crew but it's only uh, if you want to see it it's in the um, general help or helpful tricks uh, playlist uh, as i called it here and there you can find the warp range crew if you're interested no it's in the cruise playlist sorry of course a crew should be in the cruise playlist and so uh, the warp range crew is there have a look in in, in the playlist if you want to see it but there's only three officers overall in this game that extend your warp range so as i said i'm filming before maintenance so i'm quite sure tonight there will be new officers as well with with arc fall but um it would be nice if they would introduce another warp range officer they brought another officer a lot of officers for a lot of stuff but not more warp range officers and uh, they did ships that can do more but i would prefer uh, better officers for my uh, faction warships so i can do my missions because i'm stuck in a lot of missions but you see um, i could get at least to this system so i have two more systems to explore um, with my Annex 01 without the warp range crew but my Voyager can only get to Batu Shakai now but that's a new uh, still but as I said there, there are so many systems out here that you want to travel to that you will constantly worry about your warp range even with the Annex 01 and the, the Voyager the Annex 01 is nice there for um, doing the missions with uh, go from here to there go there go there collect this but as soon as you have to fight you will want your best warships to have the warp range and as you can see for example here how many missions you see those are all missions of destroy this mission hostile and mission hostiles are mean and that really means i need my biggest warship and my coroner can't get there so these missions will probably have to wait until I finally get my um, Vorcha, but that will take some time because the um, level 53 is uh, quite a lot of work to do as well. But nevertheless, I wanted to do a video on this topic again so you keep your um, focus on, on Warp Range as well. There 
is so much that you need to go to and even if you want to mine certain materials your ships need the warp range to get there um, my normal faction miners from four star cannot go to the outer systems here um, like uh, Taylor I mean that's not a nice one but uh, there are systems out here uh, like uh, right truck okay my my um, Devor can go there. Uh, the Devor is another topic. Uh, the Devor Fisher will want to go to the beta sector where there are the nice um, concentrated uh, latinum mines and stuff like this. So even for your miners, you will want to do the researches as well. And um, in some cases for mining, you will need to know about the, the warp range crew. And um, that will keep you busy throughout the whole game. Because even if you get the NX-01 and the Voyager, which can go quite far, that doesn't help you with mining, usually doesn't help you with fighting. And so keep really keep an eye on your warp range research as well, so that you um, can get your ships as far out as possible. That's why the ships I'm buying, uh, or not buying, I'm building, I usually don't buy ships except like the ones that I introduced with a new arc um, to make the video immediately about it. Otherwise, I don't do that. The faction ships uh, BP are so expensive in, in the Scopely store. I never do that. It's it's uh, just too expensive. I paid 100 uh, quid for, for the NX-01, for example, to make the video immediately the next day for you. But I will not pay 900 uh, euros or, or whatever for one faction ship. I, I'm not going to do that. There, I really have limits for what I uh, can spend to show you some things here. And as my shirt says when I weigh the, wear the gray one, for example, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And you will need to have some patience. And I'm patiently working on the blueprints for my Vorcha at the moment. And it's not that bad because I'm going to need some time to get my um, shipyard on level 53 that I need for this because 53 is another thing where you have to build a lot of buildings to get there. But I'll talk about it a little bit in another video I'm doing this week about what changes at the Ops 51 where I finally got because I sorted the ACC 40, 45 problem with a lot of help uh, from my alliance, by the way. So, guys, thanks again for, for all the the help you, you've given me to, to get that because I forgot it before I went to 50 to have it there. And so that's the nice thing about being in a teamwork alliance. But as I said, I wanted to give you just a little hint on the warp range again because I have the feeling that sometimes people forget about this. So it's not a video as usual with one certain tip or one certain uh, ship or whatever. It, it was just a general reminder video to get your focus back on that because that's an important thing you will always need in this game. And if you want to add something about warp range, please write it in the comments. If you have some more tips for uh, new starting uh, players, for example, that's always appreciated. And if you just want to ask questions or have video requests or just want to say hi and where you're from, you know that I regularly read your videos and that I'm always happy to know where my active viewers are coming from. And if you want to see another video right now, the next one is right here in the end screen. I'll see you there. I'll be back.